Debbie Arnold with Dining with Debbie. I'm going to share with you today one of our very favorite um, family recipes, and that is pumpkin bread. Now, I know everybody probably has a pumpkin bread recipe uh, in their menu box or recipe file or whatever, but I'm telling you, this one is absolutely the best. I've been making it for years and years, and uh, it's well known in our community. I probably have made thousands of loaves of this bread. Um, it started back when my, our daughter was little and we would make small loaves to distribute in our neighborhood and she would go around in her, uh, you know, with her little red wagon pile full of loaves of bread and knock on neighbor's doors and distribute them, usually at Christmas time or whatever. Uh, so it started with her and then Years later, my husband was running for public office, and it was that first year that we had the Super Tuesday, you know, uh, and I'm telling you, it could not have been a colder year than it was that year. It was frigid, and we got a, a huge amount of snow one time right in the middle of the campaign. Well, he was all uh, nervous about being at home, couldn't get out, couldn't go uh, door to door like you were pretty much had to do at that time. And so I was making pumpkin bread just to keep my mind off of the campaign and the election. And I finally said, why don't you take some of this pumpkin bread and go walk around and hand it out, you know, and ask people for their votes. Well, he started doing that and it wasn't long before people were calling and saying, when are you gonna bring my pumpkin bread by? And so it kind of started a tradition for him. And so every year at Christmas, he starts uh, delivering loaves of pumpkin bread and it's so much so that people expect him to show up with that and he loves it it's just it's my christmas gift to him as he, uh, as he distributes it out because it brings him so much joy but it's also a recipe that i have shared any number of times it's one i love to take to neighbors and friends or uh, share however i can it's a very very moist pumpkin bread and one that i just know that you will come to enjoy as well I've already started our batter. Uh, you start with three cups of granulated sugar, one cup of canola oil or vegetable oil, four uh, large eggs, and a 15 ounce can of pumpkin. And I do use canned pumpkin with it. If you have you know, your own pumpkin that you've processed and put in the freezer, then it's probably about, um, uh, I would say close to two cups of pumpkin, maybe a little bit over. Uh, then I cream that together very well until it's well mixed up. Then I begin to add in my dry ingredients. And those dry ingredients are three and a half cups of all-purpose flour, uh, one teaspoon of baking powder, one and a half teaspoons of baking soda, two teaspoons of salt, and then our spices. And those spices are one teaspoon each of cinnamon, nutmeg and allspice and I whisk those up together and then I start to incorporate them into the batter which is what I'm going to do right now. You know to keep your mixer low or otherwise you'll be bathed in flour. I've been preheating my oven to 350 degrees and I have sprayed my pans with non-stick spray. Normally when I make this, I make a double batch because, um, like I said, it gets distributed fairly quickly. But this bread freezes extremely well uh, and I think that you will find it doesn't take any time for it to get out and about to friends and neighbors as well or get eaten up in your house. I used to make this often for um, lunches. Uh, I would make it up in those little muffin tins, you know, the tiny ones, and keep them frozen and then add them to our daughter's lunch for school or our lunches when we were going to work or whatever. Uh, my grandson and granddaughter make this recipe. He is allergic to nuts, and so uh, he uses chocolate chips in his. And I've heard of people using caramel chips in it, and I really think that would be really good as well. Once we get this all mixed up and the flour is well incorporated, then I'm going to add in a, 
probably about a cup and a half to two cups of nuts. Now, I prefer pecans, but walnuts are also very good, and walnuts are cheaper uh, overall to purchase and to, you know, put into this dish if you're making large quantities. If you have the pecans to spare, I would use those. I do like to slightly toast my nuts before I put them into this. You don't have to. I just think it improves the flavor quite a bit. All right, so our batter is stirred up. We're going to add in our nuts. Now I use it, add them in with my mixer. That's my oven, it's ready. So I'm going to unload, incorporate those nuts. Okay, I'm going to use my fancy little bump pan today to make up some of these. They make really cute little gifts if you want to hand them out to neighbors. Uh, and I forgot to tell you, I also have two-thirds cup of water in here as well, and it's been, it was incorporated in at the beginning. I use an ice cream scoop to fill all my pans when I'm baking. And it usually takes just a little over one scoop to do these little butt pans. But you can do whatever pan you have. It makes three large loaves, or two of those really big loaves. Um, I, I have a really pretty little fall baking pan that I sometimes use, which is like this one right here. Um, if I want to, you know, take a special gift to someone. But the, what I do is I wrap it in um, cling wrap or saran wrap, whatever you might have. And then I double wrap it in aluminum foil or I put it in bags and gift bags and put it in the freezer and have it ready to distribute whenever Gary gets ready to do that. Um, I'm, I'd say it probably would keep at least three or four months in the freezer without anything uh, damaging it or any loss of flavor. So if you wanted to start now baking, you know, for Christmas, I would say go ahead. I don't have room in my freezer right now to start a whole lot of pre-holiday baking. Some of you may do. Uh, anyway, we're going to cook these. These will cook about 30 minutes at 350 degrees. A large low pan, it's going to take it close to an hour to do. And the little mini pans, muffin pans, you know, probably 10 to 12 minutes, I would think. Alright, one of the things that I like to do before I put this in the oven, okay, and you know this trick from by now, is I bang it. That gets the air out of um, the batter that you put in here and makes for a smoother top. Okay, so I'm gonna put these in the oven, bake them for about uh, 25, 30 minutes. I'll start checking them. It depends on your oven, of course. And then I'm gonna fill up some little loaf pans and bring those out to show you whenever we're finished. Uh, I'll see you soon. Okay, our pumpkin bread is all ready. Um, we're going to let it cool completely, and then I'll wrap it and I'll put it in the freezer or distribute it uh, to neighbors or friends or however. I love to make it up in these little bunt cakes because it makes such a nice little treat to put in a, in a baggie and give to a delivery person or to put it in a lunch or whatever. You can also make it up, in, like I said, in those little small muffin tins. Uh, if you've got the fancy pan, time to drag out those fancy pans and use them. Um, the little small loaves, you know, are great for gift giving. Uh, you might be thinking about that in terms of what you're going to do over the holidays, and those are going to be coming up. But it's fall. It's time to start thinking about pumpkin and apples and pears and all those wonderful seasonal things that we can uh, enjoy right now. Uh, I, this is pumpkin bread. It's Gary's famous pumpkin bread. It's on my blog, diningwithdebbie.net. All you have to do is search for it. Uh, it. Either Gary's favorite pumpkin bread or Gary's famous pumpkin bread. It's known by both. Uh, one thing I want you to do is come back soon because I'm going to be sharing my pumpkin spice donut recipe. And it is wonderful, y'all. And here again, if you don't have a donut pan, these are baked. If you don't have a donut pan, you can make it up in those little muffin tins, and they're great to have for snacks or lunches or whatever. So uh, thank you so much for joining me today. It's time to get into pumpkin season uh, and enjoy the pumpkin spice and it's coming out it's so popular right now. Please come back and join me. 
feel free to share uh, as you like. And uh, I thank you so much for your comments and your nice good wishes. I appreciate you being here. Please come again soon.